Hello and welcome to Farmville Valley, a new map in Farming Simulator and it's a map by Gwendor and you might have read about this map, it's a map that took 24 hours to, to make so I want to see if we can make an episode of it. Now I have great vibes of Neumannibrunn in this map because look at the mountains and the balloon and it's all a bit sort of Neumannibrunn but uh, let's see how we do but the first thing to say is we're here, this is where we are, this is where our farm is and where I've spawned I don't really want to be here actually. I want to be in the midst of everything. It's like the party is going on over here and we're stuck out here like wallflowers. <laughs> um, what, I, what I'd like to do actually, I did have a little go on this map before I, where I, before I started making this episode. I would like to have my farm here on field 21. I'm going to I'm gonna cultivate the field. I think it's got sugar beet in it at the moment. Cultivate the field, put a yard at the end and have the rest as grass and that will be our farm. So let's let's have a look also at our equipment because we have here small tractors um i'm going to keep the media tractor the aziki here i don't want to keep this because it's too it's not powerful enough for me i would like as a small tractor a 120 horsepower tractor so i'll get something else so what i'm going to do is take all the stuff i don't want to the shop and sell it to raise us some money for land So that was the last piece of equipment going in, but now we only have one tractor and we have made about 150,000 by selling that equipment. So the tractor I'd like to have is a 120 horsepower tractor and I'll just go to the one I want, which is this John Deere, this uh, lovely old John Deere, um, the John Deere 5E. So I'm going to bump it up to 130 horsepower and I'm just going to buy it. Uh, we should be renting stuff. This is what I normally do at the start of my series is rent stuff but uh, because you know land and productions makes you the the money and the equipment costs you money <laughs> but um i'm going to buy this because uh, i i would like to have a john deere tractor and i like to have this one so how do we get out of the shop go this way oh here's the road here okay so we're in europe so we drive on the right right i will see you at field 21 with all of the equipment Okay, so I'm in two minds actually because I would like to cultivate this sugar beet but I would also like to harvest it and make some money out of it. I'm not even sure there's a sugar mill on the map. Let's just have a quick look actually. There's a uh, production here, feed and grain. Uh, another one here which is a sawmill. What's this one here? Grain mill. A grain mill, that's good. Uh, what's this one? A sawmill. So there's four productions. I think that's four. Uh, but no no sugar mill so what I'd have to do is what I said at the start and buy this area here to make a like a placeable area but first thing we need to, need to do is buy this field and fortunately fortunately the, uh, the the land on this map is quite cheap so I'm gonna buy this um, and I'd also like to buy while I'm buying stuff I'd like to buy um, field 20 yep uh, field 19 and field 18. I should go and you know see what's on them first of all but uh, I'll do that afterwards. Let's first of all try and start coursework, um, course play rather, um, to, to, to cultivate this field. I'm not sure if course play is going to work but let's let's see if it does. Let's just do a bit of a, 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 a slalom through our equipment here and get it spread out. Right then, yeah, we've got crop destruction turned off and it's just destroyed some of the crop there. So anyway, right, let's see, see if we can get uh, course play sorted out. And the answer is yes. And there he goes. 
Brilliant. And I hope it doesn't have any problems because there's a... Uh, let me just fly, actually. There's a fence there at the corner, which I can't do much about. So let's see what he does there. I thought so. He's blocked by an object. Okay. Let's get in here and... I'll take it off worker and I will do sort of some of the, the headlamp for him. So I'll put this on, a, on just a small time lapse. Okay, I'm going to forget about course play. I'm just going to put it on a, a, nor a normal worker and just start this end and just have him going up and down the field and then, you know, finish off the bits he's missed at the end. So just to get things done, you know, because course play is a bit of a, an issue because of the fences. So let's just put him, if he'll do it, go up this straight line here. I'm not sure if he will. Let me just sort of position it correctly and put it on a worker. It's on a worker now and let's see what he does. Yeah, okay. Let's leave him to it. Let's go and see our other fields, actually, because we just bought three fields and I've got no idea what's on them. Let's go on a voyage of discovery. <laughs> so, the first field we bought was the one just over the road here, which is... What is that? Cotton! Of all things, cotton. Well, it's... Uh, let's have a look at the size of the field. It's quite a small field for cotton. And I'm not sure I want to go to the expense of hiring a big cotton harvester. Uh, we could do it, just for fun. Uh, but it's not ready to harvest yet anyway. So let's get back in the John Deere. Anything coming? And what else did we buy? We can see it on the, on the mini-map down the bottom there. Field 19, which is just down the road here. So we have to go up this handy little track here to get to it, which is nice. So field 19, this looks like wheat or barley or something. What is it? Oat. <laughs> uh, third time lucky. Uh, so, oh, ready to harvest. All right, let's harvest the oat. But there's also one other field I'd like to have a look at, which is field uh, 18, just here. So how do I get to that? I have to go backwards and go along the road. Okay, that's fine. All right, let's go and see field 18 and see if there's anything interesting on that. Okay. What is this then? Soybeans. Okay. It looks like a big field, but... Uh, well, when do you harvest soybeans? That's the question. In October. Okay. Well, let's leave this then. I think I'd like to, to um, cultivate the cotton field because... I don't know. That's like a quite a small field for cotton. The, the, the harvester is so expensive. You need a big field for cotton. Okay, let's get back to field, what was it, 21, I think? And we need to harvest it. Now, why isn't this guy moving? <laughs> oh, dear. I mean, I don't know if he's on course play. There's uh, no field found. It's right in front of you, fella. I'll put it on a, on a worker again and see what happens. Okay, fine. Alright, let's find ourselves a harvester. 
Um, I think the New Holland is fine. We've got the money to, to hire it. Yeah, that's fine. And this header, put it up as fast as possible. And we're probably going to need a trailer. So um, let's find a trailer for it. Yeah, this one. All right. What's he doing? Oh, good grief. <laughs> I tell you what, I think he's... I'm going to try I'm going to try switching off course play. Let me just uh, sort that out. There. I think I might have done it. I've turned off course play, so Ugh. Right. Let's get this sorted out. So, uh okay. Now this need this header needs to be the other way around. I'm not sure if the the, the map maker can do anything about this, but uh this is always a problem when you have to kind of go into tight spaces to get your header on. So anyway, I'll get this sorted all out and I'll see you at the field. I don't know why, but I couldn't get the trailer to work. I put it on the trailer, but I couldn't then steer the harvester like it wasn't snapped down or something. I'm not, I'm not sure. Is this our field? This one here? <laughs> I'm not sure. Uh, yes. Oh, ready to harvest. Okay. Let's get on with it then, and I'm not sure where we're going to put it once we've harvested it, but it needs harvesting, so... Oh yeah, unfold the tool. But, so, hopefully... Actually, let's just go back to this guy. Oh, he's doing quite well now. Oh, that's, this is nearly finished. So after he's done, we can put down a yard, and we can put down a silo. So that's where we're going to put the oats. Right. Uh, <laughs> I have access to this stand, I think. Let's get on with it. So I think I'll only get one full tank uh, out of this uh, field, which is it's quite a small field. This is one observation from me, which is that the fields on this map are quite small. I don't think there's any really big fields. And the other thing, let's just fill it, let's just get to 100%. We have crop destruction turned on. Uh, yeah, let's turn that off for a sec. Yeah, so the map, the, the fields, let's just go through Let's just have a look. I mean, I think about 18 is about the biggest field on this map. There are these areas here, but these areas, you know, these grey bits are kind of hills and stuff, and they're all very hilly, and you can't really make fields out of them. And the other thing I wanted to know was, if I buy field 14, do I get any, any land around it? Because if I don't, that's a bit of an issue for me, because, yeah, this field here, 20, we bought. But I think that the, the land around it... I'm not sure if we even own it. Not much of it. There's only a little bit, a little parcel of land here between between the fields. Because I would like to put um, like beehives down uh, next to some of my fields, and I can't do it because there's not enough room. Uh, so that's one little moan. But uh, you know, if you make a map in 24 hours, them's the breaks, I suppose. You know. <laughs> anyway, let's get over to field 21, which will be our new farm, and try and sort things out a little bit. All right then, so it looks like, let's fly again, it looks like it's all done. Fantastic, okay, so 
now I'd like to do what I intended to do in the first place, which is to put like a yard at this end, like a like a bit of a square yard. So let's go to construction and go to landscaping and go to painting and go to um, I think probably concrete if there is concrete. No, it'll have to be asphalt and I'll need to get out of the way. <laughs> I always do that. I always stand in the way of where I wanted to to do things. Anyway, let's go back into it. Construction, landscaping, painting and asphalt. So we'll put a big square here and... All right, I'll just put this on a bit of a fast forward because it might... It's a little bit fiddly, so I'll see you when it's done. Okay, a bit rough around the edges, but you know, that's that should be okay. So, yeah, um, I think this might be okay for a bit of a yard. I'd, I'd rather have concrete. I, I like the, the look of concrete. But first thing we're going to do is put a, uh, a shed down. Just an easy shed. Just here for our for our equipment. So let's. Uh, yeah, 10,000. It's a really, really flat field. So let me just put it here. That's okay. And we need a silo. So I'll put the silo, I think this one, just here. And it looks okay against the background there. There's white houses, there's a white silo. So the first thing we're going to do is get into the... Where is the... Oh, there it is. <laughs> get into the New Holland Harvester and stick that out and just go and stick it all in the silo without uh, the middleman of, a, of a, a truck or whatever or a trailer. Brilliant. All right, I will go get the rest of the um, oats. This shouldn't take me very long. <laughs> yeah, not much oats left on the field. Just a tiny, tiny little bit. Just an anno annoying little bit. Anyway, let's stick this in. And then uh, we need to sort out these fields that we've got. But uh, I'd like to just uh, have a look at one or two other things, first of all. So anyway, let's send a few things back that we don't need anymore, like... The harvester, the header, the disc harrow, we might need that. The header trailer, fine. So, um, right, I'll tell you what I'll do is actually get things off the field and into the shed and then uh, we'll just have a look at some of the, the, the other land on the map. All right, so that's the last one. Now I'd like to see if there's like a forestry area. I think there's one. Yeah, we drove through one here actually. If you remember from earlier, let's just see if we can get to it. Um, I'll just go to the shop and just run over there. Yeah, this is it. So there's a, like a little road that goes through it, which is quite nice. It's very bushy, which I'm not a fan of. <laughs> but anyway, you could use it as a forest. And how much would it be? Like if you want to buy this. 176,000. Okay, it's quite a big area, I suppose. So this is how much your forest is. And there is a sawmill, which is... I think it's this one. Yeah, the sawmill. And is there anything else to do with wood here? I don't think there is. Oh, there's another sawmill there. So there's two sawmills. Okay, fine. Uh, what's this one then? Grain mill. Okay. So this is a good wooded area. But there's all this sort of land down here which you can buy but i'm not entirely sure what you do with it like for example let's go to 26 i might have to run down there let's just go here if i can and run down to area 26 which is here and see what it see what it is you know well this is 26 we're just heading into it and i'll tell you what it is it's Skyrim, <laughs> basically, but it's not anything I could do 
it's not anything I could do anything with. You know, it's not like a, a forest or a f any sort of flat land we can use. We could buy it as a forestry area, but it's um, like a, a silver f silver run forest forestry area because it's all hilly and stuff. And you need, you know, your 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 machinery, whatever it's called. The, all the stuff I can't remember the name of now, but all the stuff we got in the the platinum expansion for silver run forests, those kind of things to help you with hilly forestry. So not, I don't think I'm going, to, I'm going to be buying any of this land here because it's just quite inaccessible. Anyway, that's what's going on here. If you want to play sort of a bit of Skyrim without any wolves chasing you, this is the place to do it. <laughs> Peaceful Skyrim. <laughs> anyway, let's go back to our farm. And we need to sort out two fields now. So let's, yeah, let's get, let's go to precision farming. And for this area here, yeah, let's purchase the soil information. Very good. And the one we just harvested, which is this area here. Yeah. So, all very good. No silty clay. And uh, I don't think there is any silty clay on the map, actually. But uh, what we need to do... Yeah, nitrogen is really bad. So, I mean, what I want to do with this field now is to have it all grass and maybe put some cows down around here and some sheep over there and some chickens over here or something and just have animals on here rather than have them like miles away where 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 we spawned uh, in the first place so anyway let's let's find ourselves a slurry slurry spreader this is my go-to one here and i have the john deere manure sensing system on and let's use our Zetor crystal. And I'm going to go pick it up and I'll see you back here. All right then. So I'm going to use power tools to fill up because I have, don't have any, any sort of slurry at the moment. So uh, let's get spread out. And let's fill it up with uh, slurry, and I will pay uh, just to make sh to to assure you I'm not cheating. I'm going to pay six hundred dollars euros rather for the slurry. So um, I'll put this on a bit of a time lapse. But I'll, I'll see you when the slurry is done. So it's been a slight struggle to make the first episode, but I'm not sure I can put that down to the deficiencies of the map, you know. I mean, the map does have what it needs to have. It's functional, it's got fields and everything, but uh, and, and productions and whatever. There's uh, a biogas place which uh, is on the map, which is just, it's not actually marked on the map, but it's just here in this little square here. So it's got everything, but it doesn't quite have the magic for me. Um, the magic of like Iowa Plains or Silver and Forest or even Sandy Bay back in FS19. Because there's things that annoy me, <laughs> basically, which are the fields aren't big enough. There's not enough land around the fields when you buy them to put like your, your beehives or anything. And the farm that you start on is in the wrong place. It needs to be like where the party is over here. Uh, but it is a handy place to have um, to put down productions and and uh, be a placeable area. So they're my thoughts anyway. I'm not sure I'm going to do an episode two because um, I don't think this will be a, a continuing series. But I just wanted to do one episode to show you the map and show you a little bit about more about the map. Just not just a map tour. So thanks for joining me. Please like and subscribe and bye for now.